Tom Blanchard here with another episode of Thursdays with Tom, where I provide you with some helpful nuggets to keep those juices flowing, put more money in your pocket. We're on episode six of our Ninja Nugget series. Look, asking the right questions. Most important thing, right? Last week we talked about creating value by solving a problem or creating pleasure. So how do you find those things out? Well, how do you know what your potential customer's problems are? Or what makes them feel good, right? How do you discover their pain and their pleasure? Well, I'm here to tell you. You ask them, then start solving. It's that simple. You have to be asking the right questions to determine the customer's pain and pleasure and then offering a solution if you have one, right? So, you know what the biggest complaint customers have about their salespeople, do you? They talk too much and they don't listen. You know, as you perfect your questioning and listening skills, you'll discover ways to offer solutions for needs, which is the pain, and wants, which is their pleasure, that customers don't even know they had, right? You've gotta use the two years. So how do we make sure that you're listening more than talking? By making sure the customer has time of possession of the conversation, the majority of the time. Generally like 75% of the time is important for them to have possession. When the customer's talking, several things are happening, right? The customer is more connected to the conversation and as you keep asking questions, the customer stays connected to the conversation because they're the ones that are doing the talk and they love to hear themselves talk. The customer feels better about the conversation and the relationship, especially when asked about familiar areas of their life, such as family, occupation, recreation, and so on, right? Those are called the Ford questions. Through active listening, you are learning more about the customer. And that's what you need to know. You pick up the subtle and hidden personality traits, decision strategies, learning modalities, and most importantly, <laughs> pain and pleasure. Unfortunately, in most traditional sales presentations, you take time of possession, often talking 90% or more of the time. This causes the customer to <laughs> mentally drift off. You've seen it happen, you know, blah, 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 blah. Just as many of you may be doing right now. <laughs> Look, research indicates that most customers will disconnect two minutes after you start talking. Yeah, that's right, two minutes after you start talking. When your customer asks a question, your answers need to be two minutes or less, or you're gonna lose them. If it's longer than two minutes, you need to periodically check in with the customer by asking some simple questions like, are you with me so far, right? Or what questions do you have so far? Check in with them, make sure that they're still on base with you. As you ramble on, the customer starts to think that you like to hear yourself talk, like most of you are probably saying right now, right? Look, the customer is no longer in focus. The conversation is you-centric and comes off as self-centered and pushy. Look, when you're talking, you learn nothing about the customer. You can't identify their pain and pleasure motivation. So what are you learning when you talk? Nothing. You're not learning their decision strategies, how the customer makes a decision because you can't hear what they're saying or their learning modalities, how the customer organizes information because again, they're not talking or personality traits and body language other than this one. Are they done yet? Come on, let your customer talk. They have everything you need to know, right? Because otherwise you're just selling and telling. That is it. For this episode of Ninja Nuggets next week, we will get into what questions do I ask and get into the Ford questions. Look, what are Ford questions? Well, you'll have to watch the next episode to find out. So I'll see you then. 
hope everything is going good with you. Remember, if you're talking, you aren't learning about your customer. So be inquisitive, be different. Talk to you then next week.